Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-machine.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about what is test trigger. I'm sure you must have heard of this tool. If not, then watch the video till the end because in this video, we are going to talk about what is test trigger and what functionality it offers. So let's get started. So now if you talk about what is test trigger, so it's a test automation tool which will help you to automate your web application and mobile applications. So when I say mobile application, you can test mobile web applications or native web applications as well. So why we are using test trigger or why we should go for test trigger? There are plenty of different tools available in the market, right? That what is different in test trigger? So basically in test trigger, you don't need to write any single line of code, okay? You write your test cases just like a plain English, like how you test your application manually, right? In the same way, you can write your automated test using plain English. Okay, so definitely once we move ahead, I will show you how you can write test cases, but it's like writing just like click on this type here and write just like a plain English and you will be able to automate your application. The most important part of this tool is test maintenance. Okay, you can actually reduce test maintenance if you start using test trigger because it can make this test maintenance very easy. So suppose you have 10 test cases and uh, let's say 10, not say 10, let's say 100 test cases, okay? And because of some application change or maybe some locator change, if something has to be updated in all the test cases, so using test trigger, you can actually replace once, like you can find once and you can replace in all the test cases in one single click, okay? So once we move it, you will see this feature and it's very, very easy, okay? So you can actually reduce the maintenance by 90%. So if you talk about the traditional automation tools, you just need to update the locators, right? Again, if you have the uh, multiple test cases, then you might have to update multiple scripts or you might have to update at multiple places. But with the test trigger, you don't have to struggle much. So test maintenance part. Uh, so all the points that we will discuss now, we will actually see them one by one in the coming video. Test trigger also have its own Chrome extension, which you can download and you can start recording your steps. Okay, so just like other recorders, it can record your steps and it will generate a plain English for you, which you can execute through test trigger directly. It's a very interesting feature. You might have to modify these steps a little bit, but if the steps are correctly, you don't need to record. But if you want to change something, you can edit these steps and you can run them accordingly. So as I mentioned earlier, apart from web, you can also test your mobile web applications and native mobile applications as well. Again, without any coding, just like a plain text English you need to write and you will be able to do the mobile automation as well with the help of test trigger. Okay, this is a very interesting point. It actually have cross browser support. So basically you can test your application in different, uh, different browsers, let's say Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Safari. Okay. And they also have an integration with browser stack and Lambda test. So suppose by default test trigger supports the latest browsers. Okay. But in case if you want to test a specific versions, and if you have the integration with browser stack Lambda test, you can actually integrate test trigger with these and you can execute your test into the different browser combinations as well. When it comes to cross platform, yes, you can actually run your test in windows. You can test on Mac OS. You can also test in Linux as well. Okay, so depends on a requirement, you can choose the different browser in the platform combination you want. Suppose you want Windows Chrome or Mac OS Safari, Linux Firefox. So all this combination, you can do that because it has cross browser and cross platform support. So test trigger also provides CICD support. Okay, so suppose if you want to integrate your test trigger with Jenkins, you can do that. So suppose you want to build a specific job or if you have a CICD pipeline, yes, you can easily integrate that with test trigger and you can start executing your test. So apart from this, if you notice test trigger also have integration with Jira, you can also integrate them with test trail, Azure DevOps, Apple tools and few other libraries. Okay. So when it comes to integration, test trigger is quite flexible, depends on your need, you can integrate and you can start executing them. So now let's compare the traditional automation tool versus test trigger. Okay, so let's take an example that you want to automate 10 scenarios using Selenium. So first of all, you need editor. Okay, so you need to use either Eclipse, IntelliJ, VS Code or any other editor of your choice where you can actually write the code. Then you need to select which programming language you want to choose, right? So depends on what programming you want to choose, the editor will change. 
suppose if you want to write the test in java javascript python according you according to the programming language editor will also change then you need build tool like maven or gradle right and you also need third party library so suppose if i want to use some test framework i have to use junit testng or if i have to read or write the excel i need apache py right there are tons of different libraries we need to use in order to write our automated test cases but that's not the case with test tracker so with the help of test tracker okay first of all you have to sign up so the moment you sign up okay you will get the credentials then you can log in with the credentials and you can start writing a test in plain english no programming no editor no third party libraries start writing your test in plain english they also have a very detailed documentation which will help you to write your test okay so this is the official website of test tracker which is testtracker.com and you can see test automation tools manual tester automate test 15x faster spending 99.5 less time on the maintenance most important part you can write your highly stable test in just plain english so these steps emulate the way human will interact with that application it could be mobile it could be the web application again please explore this test trigger anyways we will be covering this in the upcoming videos so if you have other questions like why test trigger some case studies features okay what test trigger provides some faq so i would highly recommend that if you visit the faq section you will get a lot of information about test trigger what it can do and what it cannot do okay sign up and login is very easy you just need to sign up so i will give you the link in the description from where you can sign up and continue okay so the moment you sign up you will see which plan you want to proceed so depends on your requirement you can select a specific plan and you can continue so you can see they have one plan which is free open source so in this free plan what you will see all the test and the results that you will get will be public open source so anybody on the internet they can see and they can share your result as a public url apart from this yes unlimited users unlimited test cases unlimited test suites which you can create and you can only execute one parallel test okay so if you want to run test in parallel mode right in that case you have to select the different pricing plan they are also coming with a new pricing plan so we have to wait for it but as of now they have the three different plans so depends on your need depends on your requirement you can select a specific plan and you can continue once you sign up you can log in and you can start using it okay so once we move ahead i will definitely show you how to get started with test trigger the quick overview of uh, ui of test trigger and how you can write your first test using test trigger okay as i mentioned please go through the faq so this is the basic question which you must be thinking how it is different from selenium how it is different from bdd like you can work again so they have already covered already this faq section so please go through this yeah so that's all from my side uh, so this is just a quick introduction about the test trigger and we'll discuss more about test trigger in the upcoming videos thank you so much guys stay tuned and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye